it was a mouth-watering conclusion to season 2011, the final Fremantle Derby of the season, South Fremantle hosting East Fremantle in a cutthroat elimination match. The winner to go through to the first semi-final against Subiaco next week and the season was going to be over for the loser. Well, under those circumstances, it was always going to be a very, very tough encounter and it started off just that way with both sides throwing everything at each other. The brilliance of Paul Hazelby became apparent quite early in the piece. He kicked an early goal for South from Mandel and South skipped away to a reasonably comfortable nine point lead in a rather low scoring first quarter. The rain started to come down in the second quarter which made it a little bit greasy. Ball handling was obviously a lot harder and mistakes were being made by uh, both sides. A good snap there by Brad Delzeal kept East from Mandel in touch and they all came to congratulate him because goals under the circumstances with the rain coming down were really at a premium. None better in the first half than the one by Kobe Stevens from the boundary line and they were able to stay in touch with South Fremantle although the Bulldogs had skipped away to a 16 point lead 8-5 to 5-7 at half time. It was really though in the third quarter when South Fremantle started to flex their muscles. They got control in almost every area in the ground. Young Palumbo might be small of stature but he certainly has got a big heart and knows where the goals are a good running goal from him and South Fremantle started to really open up some of the deficiencies in East Fremantle's midfield and in their defence. Paul Hazelby continued to show all of his experience combined with uh, other teammates, uh, both former Fremantle teammates and new South Fremantle free, uh, teammates, that one there being Ryan Murphy who kicked an easy goal but South Fremantle freshened up by their bye last week, certainly looked to have more in the tank than East Fremantle who after winning Four consecutive matches had their bubble burst by Subiaco last week and really came into this match, perhaps with their best football behind them. And in the end, it was a little bit of a doddle for South Fremantle. Murphy kicked uh, three goals for the afternoon and they led by 43 points at three-quarter time. Uh, Theo Adams was brilliant all day. So too was Ryan Cook. And Nathan Phillips found some real form toward the end of the uh, match, as did Morgan Cooper. And they finished out... Running up in comfortable winners, 18 goals, 13, 121 to East Romano's 12, 13, 85. The margin was exactly six goals. Well, next week it is semi-final week. In the first semi-final, Subiaco and South Fremantle meet at Medibank Stadium. That will be our game of the day from 2pm. And in the second semi-final down the road at Claremont Oval, it'll be the Tigers versus the Falcons. And we'll be continuing updates and highlights from that match all throughout the afternoon.